you guys, this is what we are working with with the kitchen. Few dishes, that's how it is every day, all day. Um, right now I have the biscuits, they're almost done. I need to get the bacon out of the sink and put to the pan. We're just gonna fry that today and then I'll be having some scrambled eggs. But yeah, the dishes need to be done. Um, I rearranged this little area. I think it's cute like this. Oh, let me see. It's about the third time that I did this, but I want it to make sense. I have my coffee bar in the pantry, so I took everything from over here and then put it in the pantry. But I just got my little Christmas marshmallows, um, the pink and the green from Walmart. Then we got the gingerbread men. I got a bag of these from the family doll. They was $3. Um, and then I just put the candy canes in my little Christmas mug. I did add these large berries. My daughter was like, mom, why'd you put these large berries? But I think they look cute. So yeah, just got that. I did take that um, cocoa bar sign out and got this from the Dollar Tree about a week and a half ago. That's where my fruit is. If you guys are wondering and seeing this, of course, this goes in my dishwasher, but I just use this until I get some type of nice decor for my silverware. Got my sparkling red grape juice cocktail. I'll put that in maybe a couple days before Christmas. Some little gum drops, and here is still the same setup that I had for my Christmas. Over here, don't mind that. Yeah, that's trash, you guys. I don't have a trash can, so. Um, over here, this is my setup. This is in my pantry, and I barely have light in here, so forgive me if it's dark. I got this almost $6 from Walmart the other day. I thought the pattern looked really good with my decor that I have in my pantry. That's where the cocoa, hot cocoa um, sign was. I got that from Dollar General. Just little snacks and stuff that I got. And there is my coffee pot that I have been using. And I got that clean. So we're going to go ahead and continue with the day. Um, go ahead and knock these dishes out. And then I'm going to get the bacon on because I don't want the biscuits to be done before the bacon. And that's probably what's gonna happen. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna hop back on when we're gonna be doing something else. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bacon put on first. I tried to use this back burner back here. This is a fairly new stove. I barely had it three months and the smoke came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use this and turn this down actually. <laughs> It costs $6 for this bacon, but the last time uh, I used that bacon in the red pack, which I really don't have a problem with it, but now I do. I didn't before, but it's more expensive, and then it's really thin. The bacon, there's no meat on it, so I went ahead and got this time. Y'all can see the farmland, it was $6 a pack. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and prepare the eggs, get everything put into this bowl right here, and then I'm gonna put in the refrigerator because I'm gonna tackle these dishes. So that will be off my to-do list for Tuesday for today. I just came to realization that being, having a platform and taking it 100% seriously, I have to come out of my shyness. I've been like that since I was little. I'm 44 years old now, there's no sense for that. So me wanting to be um, on YouTube and you know, sharing chapters of my life with you guys and for y'all to see the 100% authentic, real Nisi, I have to just blow that off and live my life how I do on camera and off camera. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, the only thing that I added to my eggs was a little bit of milk, maybe not even a half of a half of a cup, um, half a handful of the Fiesta Bland cheese, the onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, Mrs. Dash, I need to get some more at the store, I'm almost out. And then um, I have the spinach 
right here. I'll be putting that on last. The pan's going, the bacon is finished. We got the biscuits done. Um, do you guys use grape jelly for your biscuits or just butter? Or some people I know they use honey and I'm not sure anything else, but yeah. We just use grape jelly and butter in this house. So go ahead and get this finished and we're gonna eat first. I think I said earlier I was going to put the eggs up and then do the dishes. No, we're gonna eat our breakfast and then come back on and do the dishes. Get to the cleaning motivation, tying up Tuesday part of the video, so. Of course, you guys know spinach cooks down, so. Season it with some pepper on top and we'll be done. now that I have my dishes taken care of I just have some hand towels in the sink I usually wash them off by hand put a little bit of bleach and laundry soap I'm going over here to use this um, LA's totally awesome kitchen cleaner it smells really good if you guys like the scent of fresh apples that's what it smells like so I'm gonna clean this counter that pans on the stove because it's setting and soaking I put hot water in there with some dish soap um, it'd be easier to clean but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this counter taken care of. And then we're going to work our way into the living room. And I got some shelves on the other side of my living area. I'll show you guys when we get there. But I want to move them around, take the decor off, clean them off, and then replace them somewhere else. Hey 
Hey guys, I just got out the shower. We actually went to Family Dollar. There was some few things. I'm gonna go ahead and put up my short. You guys can look at it. It's just a few new items that I seen that they had in the store. I thought you guys would like, like to look at. So I'm gonna do that. And then right now I'm in the kitchen. It's almost a little after four or going on four. Um, the oven's on. I'm about to get my ribs out of the sink and get those put in a pan, season them up and get them put in the oven so we can have dinner. But after I do that, I'm going into my living room. There is some shelves. I'm sure you guys have seen them. I'm taking them from where they're at and replacing them on the bigger side of the wall and um, clean the shelves because they're very dirty and dusty and then rearrange the decor that I have on there. So let me go ahead and get dinner started and I'll hop back on. you guys we are going to go ahead and get in this living room because this is real time and it's going on after four o'clock today's tuesday and i'm trying to get this video done for you guys upload it so you can watch it's probably going to be later on in the evening but that's how it goes over here so we're going to go ahead and get started in the living room okay so these are my shelves that i am talking about they've been up here for a while um i like to rearrange my home that's just how it is um, if you don't have money to go out and always buy new decor, I just rearrange and it makes it just feel like everything's new. So I'm going to be changing the bottom shelf and the top shelf. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to take all the decor off and then it's going to be going right here. So the wreath either will be changed back over here where they're at or either a little bit higher. We'll just have to see. But that's what I'm working with and a um, little bit of cleaning motivation, tidying it up. And I'm going to go ahead and like I said before, wipe the shelves off and redecorate. So that's about it. <laughs>
Okay, here is where I decided to put the wreath. I was gonna put my mirror, but it's like, it's long, but it's small in width. So um, I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and get that wall peel and stick or whatever, it's, it's something called like the wallpaper, peel and stick, um, either way, and just go down from the top all the way to the bottom. I think that'll look good. And it's kind of like a accent piece and it'll make it pop because it's, it's too plain. The wreath is big, but just not as big. I know it's only gonna be here, you know, a little bit after Christmas, but I think that'll look good. Okay, here's my progress. If you guys can see, <laughs> I wing it. I did not measure it, and that's a problem. On the right side right here, down there, it's like a half an inch shorter. I had to change it, and that is going to get on my nerves because I like things to be leveled. I don't know. Your girl needs to invest in a drill because it's tiresome. My arms are hurting. I have one more to put on that side. Then I'm going to be wiping the shelves off putting up the decor. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short after this because time is going by and getting away from me. So, all right, let's continue. Okay, so from back here, you really can't see that big of an imperfection. It's only when you get up close enough, but it's really not a big deal. I'll worry about this one on the left. I'll just fix that tomorrow. here is the final result I am loving it my daughter said later on <laughs> I need to move the shelf down a little bit but I kind of like it like that I don't want the cats messing with everything so here's an up close I just moved a little bit of stuff around I think it looks good turned out pretty good put the garland back over here she wanted that all right you guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate each and every one of you guys um, I will see you on the next video. Take care, stay positive, God bless, and have a great day. Bye, you guys.